Hi everyone and welcome back to Writing Tip of the Week. My name is Julie Stigmeyer and I work with the GSCP in Writing Support. Today I want to talk to you about principles of direct quotation. So I did in a previous video talked about the differences between these. You can always check that out on my YouTube channel. Um, but just to remind, just as a quick reminder, quotation uses the exact words of the author surrounded by quotation marks, whereas a paraphrase restates another's idea in your own words, but both require correct citation. So according to the APA, paraphrasing is actually better because it allows you to fit material into the context of your paper and writing style. It allows authors to summarize and synthesize information from one or more studies. And published authors primarily use paraphrasing as opposed to quoting, so students should also get into that practice. But is there, is there ever a time to use a direct quotation? quotation? Well, use a quote when an author has said something memorably or succinctly, or you want to respond to exact wording. And what I thought I would do is just talk to you a little bit about how to integrate quotations into your papers. Don't just insert a quotation with no context. Um, instead, try to introduce and integrate the quotation so it flows with the rest of the of your work. As your reader is going through your paper, your voice is in their head. You're, they are in your voice um, learn with your writing style. So when you just plop a quotation into uh, your writing without introducing or integrating it, it becomes a little jarring for the reader and it's a little, it can become more difficult to follow or understand. So here are some examples. This came from the APA staff who wrote a blog post about how to in integrate quotations. And here are three examples. According to Palladino and Wade, a flexible mind is a healthy mind. In 2010, Palladino and Wade noted that a flexible mind is a healthy mind. And number three, Palladino and Wade's 2010 results indicate that a flexible mind is a healthy mind. So exact same wording in each one. Notice the page numbers, which we have to put there for the quotations. And each one is integrated into the sentence um, in a very smooth flow. Each, in each case, um, except for the first one, you can always start out a sentence with according to your author and the year, and then insert the quotation. Um, but I actually think it shows a little more um, flexibility and a little more facility with the language if you can use the second or third approach, which is really integrating it into the grammar of your sentence. Um, and sometimes we'll use the word that right before. Um, but notice here, the quote is quite short. It's only seven words long. And I want you to consider that as kind of a maximum for you. Do not use block quotations. That shows um, a lack of processing and understanding and integration. So try to use very short quotes that can fit within the bigger part of a sentence already in your voice. So here's some practice. I just wrote a sentence to introduce this and then I have a quotation. Researchers have different definitions about the meaning of positive self-regard. And here's the quote. When individuals receive positive regard from others, particularly during the formative years, they will develop positive self-regard, a favorable attitude toward themselves. So here's our quote and instead of um, just beginning the sentence with it and providing very little context, let's try a couple of different approaches. Number one, according to Allen, positive self-regard refers to individuals having a favorable attitude toward themselves. So I, I focused on only five words from the quote. This quote says more than that, but I just wanted to pull out a short, um, a small amount of it. Um, like the second one previously, number two here says, in 2015, Allen noted that a positive self-regard refers to individuals having a favorable attitude toward themselves. 
And the last one, Allen's 2015 results indicate that for individuals, a positive self-regard is a favorable attitude toward themselves. So the APA is quite strict on certain areas. It's unbending. But in this case, you do have some creativity, some flexibility, and you can introduce your quotations in a way that really helps to show you understand them and you can provide that context to your reader. So I encourage you to do that. Stay tuned for more tips and strategies in the future and happy writing.